So I'm a big fan of Colbert, and I watched Stephen Colbert religiously, and he talked about the ease of like creating a PAC. PAC, a PAC is a political action committee. You just form it in like a week, you get money, and then you can start to do any kind of political influence campaigning. And since I've spent like two decades in marketing, I thought, what a good use of my time. So I formed a PAC, started running Facebook ads in Florida to try to convince people to not vote for this candidate. Uh, I'm a digital marketer. It's money ball, right? So you go to places that matter and Florida matters. Clearly it didn't work out for me, but that was like my first taste into political campaigning. People rallied around. They heard about what I was doing. Partners from a VC firm put money in and we were kind of off to the races. So that was 2016. I had a newborn, by the way. So when you, when you say you don't have enough time, I literally was like newborn on the shoulder, setting up Facebook campaigns. 2022, 20, 2020, um, the thesis was that there's too much friction in voting. So can we get people to register to vote by mail? So I started again, January started running email campaigns at night after work, trying to get people to register to vote by mail. I found this hack in Florida where like, eventually I got 10% of anyone I emailed to register to vote by mail. Then the funding came. And not a lot of funding, because it's technology. It's not that hard. So we amassed like millions and millions of emails and started emailing five sweet states to get people to register to vote by mail. And this is in the middle of the pandemic where people are scared to get out to vote. And it was literally like 20 people who were day and night at, and we all had day jobs. And we like influenced 50,000 votes. So you can make a huge difference, but it is up to every single person to accept responsibility that you are part of the system and you need to act on behalf of the system. So, SWAT Act. We're getting in the political game. We're setting up a C4. I'm looking for a pro bono lawyer. If not, we'll pay for it. And a C4, as you guys know, is different than a C3. C3 is nonprofit. C4 means that you can do political influence and advocacy. And the goal of the C4 is to mobilize Asian vote, work with candidates that prioritize Asian issues, and demonstrate that the Asian vote matters to both parties. Because if we can get out there to vote, then they start caring about the issues we care about. We are, our turnout is not as strong as our population numbers. When I took a quick look in 2022 at midterms, the turnout difference between Asian college students on college campuses in Georgia and Arizona, which are places that matter, had a, over a 20 point difference between white college students and Asian college students. That is like not acceptable. So that's what we're doing, SWAT Act. Now 